Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Coach Lawrence, this time helping out with the legendary muscle up. This is an incredibly popular skill with a lot of hype and many people have tried. Most people uh, fail, unfortunately, trying to learn this skill. And uh, the few that succeed uh, have tons of discipline, maybe some attributes, but by the end of this video, you will all have the tools needed to succeed, as well as a structured game plan to get you from zero to hero. Let's start by showing off the people I've helped along the way before we dive into the details. Make sure to pay close attention to their technique. You'll notice that they all look really similar. This obviously isn't an accident. I need to start off by saying that these are not calisthenic pros or ex-gymnasts. All of the people featured here are regular gym goers who thought that the muscle up was just a really cool skill that they wanted to learn. The techniques and strategies I'll teach you here will make it so that you as a regular gym goer can unlock this skill once and for all. Let's get started. Nice, come on. First, let's talk a bit about the composition of the muscle up. A muscle up can be broken down into three parts. The high pull up, the transition, and the dip. If I was to scale them in order of importance, it would look something a little bit like this. As you can clearly see, the high pull-up is the most important part of the formula by far, and most of your time should be spent on developing a high pull-up and learning the technique for the transition. If you can do a few strict dips, then you already have the final dip part mastered. And by a few, like, we're talking bar dips here, okay? These, they're, they're much, much easier than a regular uh, dip on parallel bars or in your, on your dip machine at the gym. But how do you generate a high powerful pull up? If you could already do one, you probably wouldn't need this video since the tutorials on YouTube are just basic technique plugins for people with strong pull ups. Let's assume your starting point is around five regular pull ups in a row. Not chest to bar like the ones I'm showing in this clip, but chin over the bar with low speed. This is typically around the time when most people start to get curious about the muscle up. From here, the formula to generate more powerful higher pull ups is simple. Starting with sets of five to six pull-ups, complete 10 of these sets per week. Once you can do all 10 sets without dropping under five repetitions, you can move on to weighted pull-ups. Starting with an additional five to 10 pounds and replace 25 repetitions of the 50 to 60 you are completing per week. Make sure that the sets don't drop below three repetitions or you'll have to lower the weight. Once you can do all 25 repetitions without dropping under five reps per set, you can add more weight typically between five and 10 pounds. Weighted pull-ups are key in starting to get more comfortable with pull-ups and starting to generate more power. Don't let your ego get involved. Take your time and do some quality reps with your chin clearing the bar on every rep convincingly. Remember that it is not necessary to pull extreme amounts of weight. Getting to around 25% additional weight compared to your body weight should be enough to start training the technique part of this skill. It's always useful to be stronger, but no need to feel like you need to be a monster weighted pull-up calisthenic athlete in order to do it. Here's a quick example of what your workout might look like at this stage. You do 70 to 80 pull-ups per week. As we get stronger, our volume will go up a bit. 25 out of these reps will be weighted pull-ups aiming for three to five repetitions. If we are below three reps, we need to drop and lower the weight. Once we can pull about 25% additional body weight, replace 25 of our regular pull-ups with high explosive pull-ups where we work on getting our chest higher than the bar. Being as fast and explosive as possible is key for a good high pull-up. With that being said, you should now have the tools you need to develop enough pulling strength to do the skill. So now let's dive into the technique. There are only three technical parts to consider. The swing, the high pull-up, and the transition. Starting with the swing. Start with a bar that you can comfortably reach from the floor without jumping. If you need to jump to the bar, I'll go over that at the end of this section. From this point, grab the bar and step out with one foot moving your toes, hips, and shoulders in front of the bar. Then close both feet together completing the forward swing. It's important to lead with the toes and make sure your entire body is in front of the bar in a straight line. Once your body begins to move backwards, you can initiate the high pull up. It's important to wait until your body is moving backwards. Pulling too early won't give you enough space to do the transition later. Here's what it looks like on a bar that's a bit too high to start from the floor. 
Jump to the bar, ensuring that your shoulders, hips, and toes are behind the bar. Do not jump forward. Stay behind the bar in a straight line with your whole body. From there, simply swing forward into the same position mentioned in the previous section. Straight line in front of the bar, toes, hips, shoulders in front. For the high pull-up, simply pull down on the bar and do a normal high pull-up as fast as you can. It's the same as the ones we've been working on from our workouts from weighted pull-ups and high pull-ups throughout the week. Pull straight down. It's important to apply pressure on the bar straight down towards the floor. Your body will move back behind the bar automatically, assuming you did the swing part correctly. Last is the transition. For this part, we can start with some drills to help understand the movement before just chucking ourselves over the bar. Start on a low bar or on a block or chair to jump you up on top of the bar. When jumping onto the bar, apply pressure on the bar down and back towards you. It's important to apply continuous pressure throughout the muscle up. While applying pressure down and back, lean forward with your head and shoulders at the same time. Then try to perform a negative of the movement by dipping down and returning to the front swing we learned in step one. If you can do this successfully, it will unlock continuous muscle ups in the future. To help emphasize the transition motion, tie a resistance band to a high bar. Then start with your elbows bent at 90 degrees. From there, press the band down and back towards you while leaning forward with your head and shoulders. Doing this seamlessly is key to mastering this technical part of the muscle up. Feel free to do a lot of repetitions of this as it's not very strenuous or very difficult, but helpful in getting the movement down to muscle memory. With that down, let's talk a bit about strengthening our shoulders and triceps for the transition. The best exercise I found for this was the tiger bend. The tiger bend is a variation of a push-up where you dip down, then at the bottom of the push-up, you move back to place your elbows on the floor. From there, you do the same movement as the muscle up transition, where you apply pressure on the floor down and back towards you to return to the bottom of the push-up. Then you complete the press up. You don't need a ton of strength to transition, but this is a good warm up and strengthening tool for people starting at zero muscle up experience. Now we can put it all together. Step out forward and perform your initial swing. Straight line in front of the bar. Once you start moving backwards, initiate the high pull up. Apply pressure on the bar downwards as fast as you can, and from there, continue that downward pressure and apply more pressure moving back towards you as well. Lean forward with your head and shoulders to complete the movement. I can't stress enough how important it is to keep pressure on the bar the entire time. If you're strong enough and keep pressure on the bar, you'll be rewarded with your first muscle up. And as a bonus, if you're able to do your negatives properly from the previous drill, you'll be surprised to see you can do continuous muscle ups as well. Congratulations on your newfound amazingness. You earned it. Just in case, here are some problems you might run into along your journey. First is when your pull up is too slow and low. Even if you have perfected technique, you won't be able to get over the bar. Keep training your weighted pull ups and high pull ups. More muscle up attempts won't help you at this stage. Next is when you don't keep continuous pressure on the bar. This is the most common mistake I see when people are strong enough to do the muscle up but have never made it over the bar. If you try to pull up then rest your chest on the bar before doing the dip, you will most likely fail the skill. You must keep pressure on the bar down and back towards you during the transition, almost as if you were trying to not allow your chest to touch the bar at all. If it does touch, that's okay, but you are not aiming to rest your chest on the bar when attempting the skill. Nothing quite beats the feeling of achieving your muscle up when everything was going so wrong for so long. Finally getting over the bar is such an epic experience, something that I really want to share with you watching this today. Feel free to ask any questions in the comment section. Make sure to like this video if you found it helpful and send me your first muscle up ever so I can brag to my friends about it. This is Coach Big Cheese wishing you a smooth journey to muscle up. I'll see you next time.